guys, so I know I did a video for you yesterday just talking about the new program that Bank of America has as far as zero down payment, um, zero mortgage insurance, you know. I just wanted to come on yesterday and give you guys some facts about the program that they had. Now today, I'm gonna tell you about how I feel and my thoughts on the program that they have. From the surface, everything seems good. They're giving people of color an opportunity to buy in um, locations where it is dominantly people of color there. Um, it, it just, it sounds good, but when I start to think about everything and just kind of read in between the lines, and again, this is just my opinion, this is not a fact. I'm not saying this because I want you to believe this. It's just how my mind is processing this right now. So in the beginning, if you don't really read into it, you feel like this is a program for people of color. But once you start reading into it a little bit more, like I said in my video yesterday, you understand that it's not just for people of color. Anybody can apply for this as long as you buy property in the areas where a lot of people of color live, right? So um, automatically right there, in my mind, how it pops up is as a red flag. So it feels like gentrification a little bit only because anybody can apply for this and anybody can buy in that area. This is not for black people to buy in the area. Now, I do believe that this is a great program for people to take advantage of. If you are planning on staying in the urban area, if you want to develop your community, if you want to put more love and, you know, put your people in a safe community, then I think that this is something that you should definitely take advantage of. But, hold on. It also feels like for the black people that do want to take advantage and the uh, brown people, Hispanics, Latino, that do want to take advantage of this, there's only a certain area that you can buy in. You can't buy wherever you want to buy. Like as if you would if you were just getting a regular home loan. It's like, if you are a person of color, brown or black, it's like they're, they're not forcing you because you don't have to take advantage of this loan that they're giving out in this program. You don't have to do it. But if you do it, it's forcing you to be in certain areas, which is another red flag to me. It makes me feel like it's a red line, you know, like this is where the black people are. This is where the Hispanic Latino people are. This is that area. And now that we have pushed a majority of them to that area, we have the rest of this area for everybody else. Or now that we have pushed a majority of those people into that area, now we can start undervaluing their property. Okay, so I just want to read you guys what the definition of redlining is, okay? So it says, in the United States, redlining is a discriminatory practice in which services are withheld from potential customers who reside in neighborhoods classified as hazardous to investment. These neighborhoods have significant numbers of racial and ethnic minorities and low income residents. And like I said, this is just my opinion. This is just my thoughts on it. It seems almost too good to be true if you don't really dig into it and really do your research and really um, see all that you can do with this. You know what I mean? With this program, you don't have a minimum credit score. Like... Your credit score could be 400, 
300 like what is it? it starts at 400 and you can buy a house it's giving me real um 2007 2008 housing market crash when everybody was getting these bad loans that they could not afford but the bank was just approving 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 this is what it kind of feels like to me and like i said this is just my opinion I, i'm not trying to push this on you or anybody else i'm just stating um the things that i see and how i feel about it do i think that this is a bad program i don't think that it's a bad program do i think that people should take advantage of it yes i do believe that people should take advantage of this program but while taking advantage of this program please 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 do your research you know I don't know man it's just you know how when you have a gut instinct or you have a feeling about something that's how I'm feeling right now I don't think that this program is horrible I do think that there's an underlying motive to it and I do think that if you're not careful something like this can backfire in a way that you don't want it to I feel like if you're not careful and you don't do your research 100% before you try to get into this program and before you apply for the loan, I believe that you could be in a situation that you don't necessarily want you or your family to end up in. So all I'm saying is please do your research. Uh, please understand everything that it is that you're reading about go talk to somebody talk to a, a regular lender talk to a real estate agent talk to me you know just um just do your research like i said i don't think that this is a bad program i don't think that everything is a hundred percent forthcoming I do think that there's an underlying reason for this program and why it's so easy. I don't think that the reason is because they just want black people and brown people to own more property. I do think that black people and brown people can own more property taking advantage of this program, but I believe that there are other reasons for it than just that. Okay, so I hope y'all have a blessed day. It is. Friday. I'm excited to get my weekend started and what I mean by that is I'm excited to relax and do nothing you know it's the holiday weekend I hope everybody's safe out there I hope y'all do have some fun but just please do not drink and drive please be safe um I will see you guys soon bye